reality is that we are satisfied that we need now at this stage to start the process of the creation of safe zones. And what do we mean by safe zones? That we need to be able to have places where persons are either vaccinated or recently tested. Vaccinated or recently tested. Because at the end of the day, what matters is that you are safe and not in a position to be put each other at risk. 142,000 Barbadians, 543 Barbadians have spoken with their feet and they've spoken with their arms. And they've said, look, we believe that our personal responsibility is to take care of ourselves. And in so doing, what we're asking the rest of us to do is to recognize that if you are not prepared to take that test, then you would, you, you would have to be prepared to be tested to assure the rest of us that as we mix, whether it is at work, whether it is in places of entertainment, whether it is in places of worship, whether it is in restaurants or hotels, that anywhere where people will frequently um, be, that there must be a safe zone. It is the realistic option that we choose. It is one that is born of us having had no almost 60% of eligible Barbadians in that position. As I said, when we get to the higher numbers of 70% of, 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 um, 70, 70 of persons who are eligible, then we will start to look at adjustments to the um, further hours of restriction of movement. And, and why have we said this? Look, there are those who will say, shut down again, lock down again. But my friends, you and I know that lockdown don't work. And lockdown is not going to work in this, especially after 20 months of mental fatigue. But I know that it is within our capacity as Barbadians to do the right thing. And how do I know that? Because you've already done it. This country has a higher percentage of persons who have chosen to be vaccinated as an independent nation than most. And largely because it isn't only about what we have been able to secure as a government, but it is also about what you have responded to and gone and taken with your feet and your arms. You have walked there in many instances. Or the shut-ins that we had before, we came to you. We have come to you and asked you, look, please protect yourself. This is fundamentally a matter of personal responsibility. The doctors have all been very clear that if you are vaccinated, you have less of a chance of catching it, you have less of a chance of being um, contaminated, you have less a chance of literally um, dying from it doesn't mean that it doesn't happen, but your chances are so minuscule that you are fundamentally in a better position. And, and let me contextualize it, because if we get that, it explains why the majority of people who have been literally becoming sick are persons who are unvaccinated. And that is why we say, look, you don't even hear us talking about herd immunity so much because what we want is for each Barbadian as far as possible to take personal responsibility and to protect themselves. We have said that we have our own way. And, and, and believe you me, when we came to you in 2018 and told you that we are going to create the Barbados Economic Recovery Transformation Program, that it will be a homegrown program, that we've taken the best of what we've seen regionally and internationally, but we've also deconstructed our problems and determined what is necessary for them. In this particular instance, 20 months into this pandemic, recognizing that we now have 60% virtually of eligible Barbadians, just shy 59.1% I think it is, recognizing that high number of persons who have already taken at least one job, then I believe that we have a responsibility now to move to the next level, which is the creation of safe zones.